Are you single? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to wrap this up and you're, you're asking more questions. Right. I am single. Okay, so what's type? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is really... Um, I, I'm i actually battling with my type at the moment because my track record, everyone could be cousins. They all look the same. They all look the same. Locks. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Hello, 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 hello. Hi guys, and welcome to 148 of the TT's podcast. I am Nana. I'm and together we are two two. So we've got yeah. a special guest in the building. We've got DJ, podcaster. I know you do other things as well. So I'm I'm gonna let you introduce yourself. <laughs> but um Talia A. Darling is in the building. Hey. Welcome. Hey. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't feel welcome, do you? you? Know what I mean? Shut up. My heart is going. <laughs> <laughs> Do not rhythm and beat. <laughs> I apologize on her behalf. Um, because mm. we're, you know, we're <laughs> half and half of the same thing, so I do apologize. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what else do you do? Um, what else I do? Uh, okay, I'm a DJ, plus size model. Mm-hmm. I love that you added podcaster because it's not in my bio yet. But <laughs> yeah, I, you know, what? I was it thinking she's not even going to say she's a podcaster. No, I, I knew. Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't at all. Um, I am a retired makeup artist. Mm. Um, I can see that. Did you make up yeah. well? Base queen going on. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I did that for. I studied it for five years. Wow. Yeah, um, did my degree in it. So what happened? Um, I wanted to be in front okay. of the, the stage. Mm-hmm. Like when I did, I started, when I, I dropped out of college and then I found this beauty school <laughs> and I was like, oh, until I find my thing, um, let me do this. Right. And then like a year and I was like, oh no, you're actually pretty decent at mm-hmm. this. And then because I had never finished anything educationally, I said, oh, let me... Start a degree. Yeah. <laughs> Spend nine grand a year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, did that. Got into um, LCF, which was, it was a hard course and a hard uni to get What's into. LCF? Uh, London College of Fashion, like UAL. Mm. Oh, London College of Fashion. Oh, well, yeah. 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 Um, so I was thinking about Lon- London College of Communications or something like Yeah, that. no, but that's <laughs> no, L- LCC. Is that is a, it's all a part of I it. I did my work experience there in year 10. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <okay. laughs> <laughs> no, but it's all a part. It's the same. Um, cohort and mm. stuff um and then yeah i did fashion theater film um is that in makeup yeah in makeup right, yeah. Mm. Um, so can you do do you know when they have like scars and movies yeah. so you cool? can do that too yeah. 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 yeah i'm gonna need all you. of that gunshot wounds um, yeah. slices yeah bruises oh she's done real makeup yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Was, <laughs> <was a> real <laughs> makeup. No, okay, proper. okay proper did it uh had portfolio like i, I used to have a glitter business Mm. Um and going around to festivals, parties, glittering people. Yeah. My most um prestigious client mm-hmm. was Richard Branson. Oh, oh shit. Went really? to his house. Like yeah. Wow. Went to his house in Oxford, did him and his party did him. That sounds a bit wrong. Let's <laughs> 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 clear that up. Whoa. <laughs> good. Get sued by Virgin. I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> um yeah, so I was I was heavily into like makeup and mm. stuff, but at uni is when I started to DJ. Um, but just because I liked music, I've always I used to do musical theatre, mm-hmm. been around it. Um, my mum is a singer, did like praise and worship leader. Can you sing? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm not gonna put you on the spot. Go on. No, 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 leave her alone. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that one. That one. <laughs> and sing. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, and my nan was in a girl band. My dad was a DJ, but I always have to say, me being a DJ has nothing to do with him. I'm just an FYI. Do you know why she said that? <laughs> you know the taxi thing. <laughs> taxi. I, the taxi thing that she's in. Basically, she's in this thing after. I think I guess it's like a DJ going a taxi home after. Yeah, the it's, it's, it's oh, just I saw artists. that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So then she's she says something about her mum, and then she says something about her dad, and looks at the camera like <laughs> he has nothing to do with me being yep. a DJ. Mm, I yeah, feel, I feel mm. that. Um, yeah, because when I say it, they're like, oh my gosh, that... no, <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh, uh uh, honey, <laughs> yeah, no, um, and uh, yeah, so yeah, I started doing DJ and then, um, came from musical background, and then my mind, like, I feel like I'm a definition of a creative. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes people are a bit like, oh, that word, but I actually do love it, mm-hmm. yeah, because 
the media might be different. That's why I was in makeup, DJ mm. and modeling, but it's all creative. Yeah. That's yeah. how my, my brain works. Mm-hmm. Um, but with the DJ and I wanted to learn, but I didn't want to pay for it. Okay. <laughs> so I had space when I used to work in theatre and my friend could DJ. So I facilitated a DJ school. Um, mm. and then jumped on the course myself and then so you facilitate the night. school and then jumped on it that is clever <laughs> smart, <isn't it? laughs> like, clever. I was like I can learn I can make money yeah. at the same time mm-hmm. then I have a club night as well and then I think we were like th- it was a six week course we were three in and then I started teaching really? no no so th- as in three um, oh three weeks into the six no no three weeks into no so not three weeks three like courses in okay okay, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, and then you start teaching yeah, yeah. Right, so is this school still happening? It closed because of pandemic, right. mm. Panasonic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but I do want to bring it back. But DJing is different now because of the pandemic. What do you it's mean? quite oversaturated. Mm. Um, yeah, everyone learns DJing. Like, in the pandemic. Yeah, all learned mm. to DJ. Everybody's done everything. In the People are just dancing pandemic. by the decks. Yeah. <laughs> so I think, I'm not really playing. I'm not too sure if this is unique as it mm. was then. Um. Do you know, I saw an interesting conversation on Twitter the other day and somebody was saying that how, why are not DJs um, tastemakers for music anymore? And somebody else was just like, well, I was, I basically, I was at a set at Box Park, yeah. And they dropped this tune. It was a new tune. I forgot what song he said it was. It was banging or whatever. And everyone basically had question marks on their face. Like, what is this? So you can't, if you're, as a DJ, you can't even really drop new tunes anymore. That's so crazy. Because everyone just That's, that stands still. That. Like, that and was... it's almost like you're like, what's the word they say? Clanging. Yeah, 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 it's like you're clanging. But if, you know? wasn't that what people, like DJs used to do back in the day? So like, yeah. what I've seen, like DJs used to play like a new tune, like nobody had heard blow, it, and then used yeah. to blow from there. Like, but it's completely That's even like now. a lot of American films. Yes, like, that's we're gonna drop the song, and then yeah. you, you see yep. everyone mm-hmm. dancing to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I was literally, I got an email today and someone sent me a song and I said to my friend, I hate when people send me their mm. music because I can't play it. I'm not a radio DJ anymore. Mm-hmm. So I think radio DJ is where you have like a undiscovered talent hour where you can play new songs and you can't see people's reactions. You yeah. just know it's blown up mm-hmm. if it then gets played in the clubs or streams and things yeah. like that. And also, if pe- I guess if people are tuning in, they yeah. know what they're tuning into as well. Like exactly. They, they know to expect to hear something they haven't heard before in a club. And I can get to, to introduce it as well. Mm-hmm. I can get to like, oh, this is a new yeah. song by so-and-so. But... When people send me music, I'm like, oh, I'm not the right person to send it to. Yeah. Because um, I'm I'm not going to play it because people mm. are just not going to respond. Yeah. Like, I'm definitely a people pleaser. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which um, was last time? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it is, I see it. I'm a uh, Virgo. Oh, that's close to me, bro. When's your birthday? August the 31st. Are you one of them ones? Okay. Uh, what does oh, that mean? <laughs> August Virgos, isn't it? <laughs> what, Versus different. September Virgos. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me you hate me. <laughs> um, so I can't remember what I said. Yeah, so um, new music. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, it's really difficult because I feel like that's why I have been able to progress so quickly in my career. Um, because I'm a type of person I've always said, and I'll say on the record, I play the game. Mm. And it doesn't matter if it's in a boardroom, in hospitality, in a workroom. I know how difficult... Um, it is for people to progress, especially black women. So I'm going to do what I need to do without setting myself out or setting myself short, Mm -hmm. but I'm going to do what I have to do in order to have a seat at the table in order yeah, to, make to, to make change. Yeah, Because yeah. you can't make the change from outside. Do you know what I mean? So Can't even so... get in. Yeah. <laughs> true. <laughs> no, but it's so true. And I see that. And I think um, you have to play smart. Like, I think that's playing smart because mm. I think for a lot of us in various different industries, it's kind of, there's not a lot of us. Mm. Um, and we're coming in like fresh and new. And those people that typically take up the space they're seeing us for the first time as well. So we kind of have to like, sort of like be careful, but be smart about it and make those changes when you actually get your foot in the door. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? yeah so, for sure. Yeah. So there's a conversation that always happens in this uh, LGBTQIA plus uh, community. And that is about playing homophobic <laughs> songs in the okay. dance. Okay. Yes. So I thought we have a DJ here. Yeah. You know, we could talk about it. We could talk about mm. it. So... About playing homophobic tunes in a dancing, whether in your queer event or any mm. kind of event yet, what do you think about that? Um, me, I don't do it. It's not even on my laptop. Mm. Um, I A little part of me subscribes to council culture. And 
So when I say that, I know, firstly, my own thoughts and opinions, it's not right. But secondly, I'm definitely not going to play it. I don't want to get cancelled. Mm. Long. True, mm. true. Absolutely long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, in the first episode of the podcast I started, um, me and Dolly Sunshine talk about um, our stance on that. Mm. And I know I've been in queer raves and they'll drop like... Um, Boom, bye, bye. Yeah. And all of that. And um, (laughs) it's so weird because that, you singing that, that's the only one that I do sing. And I'm like, yeah. Do you know what? I didn't clock that till that last year. (laughs) Really? I didn't (laughs) clock that lyric. I've been singing it for years. But I feel like it's more of like I'm reclaiming it. I'm like, yeah, Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But that's how I feel about it as well. Like, I feel like, because we were at a all women event like a few months ago Mm -hmm. and they dropped, I can't remember what song. Was it? Was it? There's something that was it. Wasn't it wasn't Ch- Chichi Man, was it? They dropped. I think some, it was. Was it? Um, they dropped a mm. very homophobic dancehall song. Mm. And I was drunk as hell. I was dancing. Mm. I was enjoying myself. And then somebody we know, she came up to me like, like what? Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. what are you doing? Kind of thing. Like what's happening? Are they? Is this okay? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's all right. But like in that moment, I was dancing. I was getting my life. I was yeah, enjoying. I was yeah. drunk as hell. Do you know what I think? Um, I think that like, body was hyper aware of it because we were in. I mean, it was all women's space, but yeah. lots of queer people were there mm-hmm. in it because that's what we do. And that's all women. All the queers go. Yeah. So um, I think she was just hyper aware because of the space that she was in. But I feel like if you're in a space that's like a mainstream, mainly street, mm. I don't think they're usually that hyper aware about it. No, like, probably yeah. not. Probably not. not at yeah. All. yeah. But I also, one thing that Donnie said to me, it was like. If in the song they are actually calling for or asking for Batty Mans or whatever to die, mm. he was like, That is when it's like for me a real big issue. Mm. And yeah. I'm because this is still happening. Mm-hmm. Mm. Versus when it's just sort of, it sort of rhymes like it kind of gay or yeah. whatever, mm. sort of rhymes in it and it's not actually calling for death. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's and not that it makes wrong. it better. Mm. Um, but it's slightly easier on the air, I guess. Mm. Um, but I, I sort of make a point to in any space I'm in to like stop dancing. Mm. No one's gonna be like, "Oh, Talia, darling, that's yeah. all yeah, yeah, yeah." It's true. Um, and I was like, unnecessary. Like, there's one song that I do play that I always cut that bit out. Is um, sneak bow. Okay. Um, touch a button, yeah. sneak bow. Let me show you the way. What does he yeah. say? Come. What does he say in that one? Um, there's a bit where it goes, all these batty boys R I P. Oh really? Does he say that? Yeah. Oh, no. And it's, it's 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 just as some people twist it out, like right. fade it out, oh. or there is a version where it goes, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, yeah. but then people are so gassed for come touch me now, touch yeah. a button. Yeah, they, they just yeah. ignore it. Yeah. Mm. I've never, um, never noticed, noticed it. it. Yeah, <laughs> I've never. Noticed I think them. They, they, I think there are versions, definitely, where it's not mm. in it anymore. But um, yeah, I I don't play. I think there there's so much more music to play. There is yeah. so much. There more is music. so yeah. much more music to play. Mm-hmm. It's hard with dancehall because I think dancehall is very slow genre. Mm-hmm. It doesn't. We don't. We do produce quickly, but we don't produce. Fast, I would say yeah, good ones. Fast, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That quickly, yeah, yeah. as well as mainstream. Mm-hmm. Even like with Afro beats, yeah, it's, it's quick. quick. It's, it's constant. Quick. It's quick. Afro beats is on. Yeah. It's basically on. What a speed belt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the machine, yeah, in, the, in the factory. It's true. Like as much as I know, it's gonna get a reaction. I hate playing now, because it's just it's just done out. Is um Vanessa Bling. Oh what yeah, is that? one man. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, there's a TikTok today. Yeah. Have you seen on TikTok the no. little girl? No. The boy's chilling with his niece. She's in her school uniform. She must not be more than six. She's like one man to the pom pom. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. And he turns it off. Yeah, and he, she continues singing it. No, she's like, "What's that?" She's con- no, no, she's singing no. the lyric for but, lyric. But the thing is, I think as, I think we've um, said this before. Like that, those songs are kind of like they were quite old. Mm. You know, I remember dancing to that Chichi Man song when I was. Uh, way too young. Yeah, I was, yeah, yeah. You know, I had my leaving my leaving assembly. That's was, what I'm saying. It's was given a primary dance. school. Like mm. I'm sure my given... leaving assembly was a dance to that song. Mm. Like, and obviously no one knew. Like the teachers the didn't know. Yeah, they didn't, yeah, they didn't know. Yeah. Didn't know. <laughs> but um, it was such a long time ago, and I know that certain artists, such as like Budgie Banton, has mm. come. They've come yeah. up and they've said they've apologized for it and said that was like. Well, I don't not... think they make money from their songs anymore or something like that. Mm. Oh, is that what really? I, it, something like that or. 
there is some sort of like you can cap someone. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Something and that's like that. and that's and that's fair. And I think, yeah, that was Because a, what's done is done. It's done. You can't, you can't take go back. it back. No, yeah. you can't go mm-hmm. back. But also I feel like taking a stance on as a DJ and not playing it, that's you know, mm-hmm. that is that has integrity and I think that's good. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, even like going back to, you know, Tony asking me about that, um, it obviously there's a time and place and I wish that it wasn't that time where <laughs> I was I was enjoying myself to have a proper conversation yeah, yeah, and explain yeah. that yeah, like those songs are fucked up, but it was a time and a place, mm-hmm. and we they don't make. But I like know that some people, pl- DJs play it as like reclaiming the word, the phrase, or like <sighs> she just reclaiming thing. Do you know what? We think s- who will say <laughs> that when it's just us? When it's just us, like queer people, and we hear the music, it's fine. It's like, but that's what I mean. Like, though, yeah, like, like, I, I know, like, words. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. um, that's what I say. Like, I know some DJs when I say that in, in queer spaces okay. are mm-hmm. using yeah. uh, are playing that. It's like no. Like, but it don't mean that. Mm. It's just we're yeah. just dancing to the beat. The thing about reclaiming the M, I feel like sometimes it's an excuse. Not just for music, <laughs> just for <laughs> everything across the board, mm. yeah. Like the N word, for example. Mm. Like somebody used it the other day to um in arguments or something about gender. I'm like, shut up, bro. Like she was, she was <laughs> basically there was a conversation on uh Twitter. We're not gonna get into it. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna get into it. Twitter, I just can't get you know. Yes, this Good. Is, don't, don't. I'm about to deactivate my. Don't. Don't. don't, I don't, don't. Like you always say this. No. Which one of you that always says this about deactivate Twitter? No, well, we both deactivated. <laughs> no, but I, I, I haven't come gone. back. <laughs> Every like four weeks, I reactivate mine, so it's not gone See forever. See what's going on. Do you know what I mean? I just want. To, I don't want mine to be gone forever. Because yeah. you know what? I think I'm gonna about to write articles one day, <laughs> and you need Twitter to do that. Yeah, True. to like get your words out. Rather than just deleting the app, I do delete. I do. Do you know what? I think is I've got a burner one. I and mean, my burner one is an X rated burner one. It's that's not, what I can't stand. That. <laughs> and do you know I can't stand my burner? This I need a new burner. It's so wild to me because mm. I've heard you guys mention burners before. I've also, because I listen to the podcast. Mm. Okay. Um, and a friend of mine was, there must have been scrolling on their burner account. I was like, oh my God. Really <laughs> what, a naked burner? Listen, yeah. In public? Yeah. We don't do that in public. <laughs> yeah. I mean, do you know what? My burner, I, now that I don't have Twitter, because I had my account and it's I deactivated, yeah. it's gone. And I had a burner account. And I still have that. And I use that to pre. So every time I come on, I just see sex. I'm just like, fucking hell, man. I like, didn't so realise like... you could be so explicit. Because oh, yeah. I'm so yeah, used to Instagram being cen- censoring yeah. everything. No, Twitter's I didn't, a different I was like, place, mate. Oh Twitter's my a God. Game. Bus I it open for who? I don't Listen, they had a bus and everything open. I every even, hole is open. I don't even use Pornhub no more. You don't use, yeah, you don't use Pornhub. I'm not gonna no, use because Pornhub, yeah. Twitter's there. Can yeah. you just type shit in? Yeah. You have to follow certain but the accounts. Thing, yeah, you got uh, to... Thing and is, that's I why know. I can't get into because I can't yeah, be bothered know. to start... Mm. The thing is, but I know who to follow though. But these are things, these are all people I actually know in real life. Ask me after. Tell me yeah. after. <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah, I've, I've actually hooked up quite a few people with their burners. <laughs> and that, <they> <laughs> I, I, you know, actually, I don't think I'm ready. I'm actually, I'm actually quite prudish. <laughs> are you ready? Yeah. Is it? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> what is that? Are you I'm, I am getting better. <laughs> getting better at what? <laughs> not being rude. <laughs> not being rude. It's like, no, nah, before even like my best friends, mm-hmm. they'll ask me about anything. And I'm like... So even like talking about sex and stuff, like... <laughs> now, like now, no, now I can. <laughs> yeah. But before, I'm like, don't chat to me. Mm-hmm. Don't... Don't ask me about who I'm lips in. Da, da, da. Most of the time, it's probably because I wasn't yeah, doing yeah. it, but... It's taken some time. And I think that has definitely come to down to my queerness mm-hmm. and being more comfortable in my body. Um and just just being more comfortable in as Talia. Mm. But I definitely... we're not talking about we not we were talking about in that DMs the other day. We're not talking about this. <laughs> what were we were talking about because <laughs> we that might be down to your prudish, you know, but we were talking about. Um uh, go on, do you think? Yeah, two things. 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 I'm in the dark, yeah. I'd like to be in the light. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we're talking about like sexuality, yeah. And Talia was like, obviously she's queering it, you're queering it. Like, she's is that how it. you identify? Yeah, she likes girls, but she's never been there with the man's. She's never been there. Are you a ghost star? <laughs> she's a ghost star. I'm not even star. gonna lie, I know that's what you're talking about. <laughs> <Is> it- <laughs> <laughs> which one, I which you which were talking, talking about, about the comments from yesterday. <laughs> no, no, no. We're talking about the gold star the other day. Oh, shit, yeah, I'm yeah, done. yeah. So, <laughs> Talia's gold star in it. Yeah. Be good myself. I mean, obviously we don't. We don't. Right, like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, yeah, we no. don't. Yeah, people on TikTok are gonna come for us. Come for us. Yeah. Oh my god, so. people are gonna really know my business because I told my friend off for this the other day. Yeah. Because she must have been like, um, she must have said it in like a public forum. What? That you're a gold star. Uh, yeah. She was like, mm. okay. Because I must have gone, oh, I'm pregnant. And she was like, okay, gold star. <laughs> no, no. She said, uh, okay, Virgin Mary. Da, 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 da. Yeah. And also said it in front of someone that. Like I have a lot of flanter with, yeah, and it's a, a guy, mm-hmm. and I was just like, 
when she left the room, she came back. I said, don't ever do that yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. I was like, nah, like you fucked up my thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then, because when I find it difficult, like women, I don't mind knowing. Like it's actually mm. not a thing, but I find it difficult with men mm-hmm. because it then becomes a challenge mm-hmm. because they see it as virgin. I'm still a virgin. Mm. Yeah, and that's not and, the case. Yeah, yeah. yeah. virginity is not something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, this prude ain't no virgin. <laughs> 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 that's what the title's gonna be called. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, they see it as a challenge accepted. They then I can be quite flirtatious mm-hmm. and um I don't my prudishness and my like flirting and like sensuality, I don't really put them two together. That's two different sides. Mm-hmm. And so when if they were to hear that, I would think they then start treating me differently and they're like, But how comes you're so sensual mm-hmm. and da, 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 if you've not been I'm like because just... Yeah, you just start like, talking about it like bears like that. Yeah. But yeah, I was gonna ask like, do you think that your prudishness is, you know, you know, why you ain't gone there a little bit. I don't think so. But I don't think so, yeah. Why don't you think so? <laughs> <laughs> you said it with chess. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you think so? <laughs> I, please. I, I just think it just hasn't happened yet. Mm. Like, that's all I think. I don't think it's like anything yeah. to do with her being a prude. Like, still an adult, you're still a grown person, yeah. you're a sexual being, like, you have relations. It's got nothing to do mm. with that. It just hasn't happened. So I would, I would say, <laughs> <laughs> I would, uh, so I was very insecure, mm-hmm. very insecure growing up, but no one ever knew. I've always been big mm-hmm. and, but I've always been confident to the outside world. Um, and always been like popular. I've always, I've never been bullied. I mean, I was bullied in private school, but I don't really count that. It's not mm. a defining <laughs> moment. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and... I I used to walk around and this is when I was very like suppressing queerness and like I've been lips in girls for a long time. Mm. Like how like, old was you when you first lipsed? Um uh, I'm going to say my like six, seven mm. yeah, that yeah. <laughs> one of those. Me too actually. Like, I think like six, seven. Like yeah, because I'm putting myself in, certain, like, I'm remembering. Yeah. And there, it had been, like, my first primary school. Definitely happened in my second primary school. I can't believe that, like, as children were doing this. Do you know how scary that is? You know, that's mad. That's I was, mad. I was doing a lot. And I mean, it's very really innocent, but it's scary yeah. at the same time. I don't think it's innocent. <laughs> well, what I was doing was <laughs> Anyway, let's go. Um, go. So, yeah, I... But I grew up, yeah, quite insecure. And also I was, I was suppressing everything. Um, and so I used to walk around life probably till I was about 20 years old. I was like, I'm not going to find love. No one's going to find me attractive until I lost weight. Mm. And that was it. Uh, I went to an all girls school. Um, then I went. Then Nackley. I was in. Yeah, Hagston. Oh, oh. Hagston. So we all went to all girls schools in Hackney. Yeah, yeah. Which one did you go to? Our ladies. Oh. I was meant to go at Haggerston, but I didn't get in. Oh, you didn't get in? Yeah. You've been rocking the, the colour. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're blue anymore, you know. No, no, because when I was really? in year 10, they changed. Yeah. Oh, That's really? when they put the boys in as well. It's mixed now. Well, our ladies are blue too. <laughs> yeah, Haggerston's mixed now, you know. I did not know that. Don't they wear like grey now or something? It's, no, uh, it's, it's, it's this dark blue with a uh, lime green rim. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, oh, we move. Anyway, yeah. continue. <laughs> um... Yeah, I went to all girls school, then did hair and makeup. So mm. very, uh, very, very saturated with like women. Um, and so I can't remember what I was saying. Mm. Just, yeah, talk about me and my sexuality and mm. sensuality and all of that. Um, and that's how I used to go around life. And I was like, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a cool kid, mm-hmm. but um, no one's ever going to love me. Oh, no, not at all. Mm. No, not well, at all. So you wasn't dating anyone? Nah, nah, no. nah, nah, nah. Do you think us um, being people that love women have anything to do with going to all girls schools? <laughs> I always, I've always said if I went to a mixed school, I feel like I would have been like, because I used to be scared of boys. Mm. Mm. Like my secondary school friends would tell you now, tell me like boys and I'll just But is that stupid insecurity or you just were scared of boys? Insecurities, mm. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because, and also daddy issues. And yeah. But I remember someone that. saying that as a parent, they didn't want to send their child to a um, all-girls school because they wanted them to know how to, like, act around guys. And yeah. I think that's like, good. 
yeah. um, how to interact yeah, just with people. Like, yeah. 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 Mum didn't want me to go to girls' school. But um, I went to Kingsland first. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Kingsland got shut down. And now it's Jack Petchy. Yeah. And like, so it got shut down when I was in year seven. So the end of, basically, when the year, year of that year seven was done, the school was shut down after that. Mm-hmm. And... Um, yeah, so I had a choice to go to Rain's Foundation. I don't think that school even exists anymore. No, it yet. does. Does it exist yeah, still? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bethnal Green. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> either there, was it Rain's? Yeah, I think it was Rain's. Or, um, or, um, our ladies. Mm. And then my mum went to go to Rain's because it was mixed. She was just like, I don't need to go But to it's still school. segregated though. What Reigns? Yeah, it's like it's mixed, but I'm pretty sure it's like Bishop where there's like girls and boys. Yeah. yeah. Was it Reigns I was meant to go to? Because it was it was together, the one I went anyway, or Maybe it was Ray, maybe it was, it was <coughs> Maybe, yeah. So you guys what cold if you haven't noticed. Anyway, <laughs> so um so yeah, I went to our ladies. I chose our ladies because it was closer to my house. I could not be able to wake up early and go to school. <laughs> mm, I went fair. to go to a school that was close to me. My mum was not happy about it. Like she really wanted to go to mixed mm. school. Here we are. Maybe she knew. Maybe she had a vision. <laughs> but do you know what? It's, it's so interesting because people do say, oh yeah, I went to girls' school and like, you know, I, I was, I'm gay because of it or it had an impact or whatever the case may be. But I think for me personally, I think it was less of like a physical thing. I never mm-hmm. had any like physical interactions with women in school. Well, they had physical interactions with me Ooh. and I hated it. There was one girl who was touching me and said, can you stop that? Girl. <laughs> I think it made me that? uncomfortable because I knew I was, I was queer. But anyway, oh, so you said I like this too much. You <laughs> stop. <laughs> I'm feeling things. <laughs> um, yeah, but I think it was, it was less about like physical like interaction. It was more about like just having like that sisterhood and that banter and that mm. safety. And that's what I think like has impacted me and my sexuality more so than the physical. Element. It's but weird. Yeah. When I came out to my cousin, she said to me, oh, is it about who you're hanging around with? And, yeah, people think that too. And yeah. I was like, nah, because at six and seven, we were in the church mm. and we were, I wasn't exposed to that. Mm. And she's like, oh, is it what you're exposed to now? Which I, I might have seen as a, a valid point, but because I knew I was having those feelings, when I came out to her, I was like, this is something I've been suppressing for 15 years. Mm. Um, and I don't really know how to navigate it, especially because I know I'm still attracted to men. Yeah. And so I'm still in a journey mm-hmm. um, of some sort, mm-hmm. but I'm so much better for like, like 21 and uh, like 21 mm. is when I moved out of my family home, moved in with flatmates. And that's when I really started to find and discover who I am as a woman, as a yeah. person. Um, and because I grew up a young carer, so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was always the breadwinner, the head of the house, and taking charge of things. Yeah, and I was uh, introduced to a lot of things at a young age. I didn't have a childhood, mm. and so at twenty one is when I started to understand life a bit more, and I got more comfortable. And I never thought I was going to come out to my mum. Yeah, um, it's because she's so Christian. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I so I was at, at first when I was younger I was like I'm never gonna like never I, it never even crossed my mind and then as I got older um I was like it would be I wanted her to ask me I said I was never yeah. gonna tell her mm. and then I got into a relation mm, I got <laughs> <laughs> you got into a, a relationship was it a relationship actual relationship was it or was it like a is it a casual thing that like, wasn't really casual like we we're talking like, about? It, if I talk, if I talk the things right now, talk the things. That's what we're here for. Yeah, but like, I Cut. definitely, <laughs> <laughs> I definitely know they definitely listen to this podcast. That's fine. Fuck it. I talk about people. That we talk yeah, people that talk we about listen to the time. Yeah, all the time. They after the, cuss a little bit, but we move. <laughs> so basically, I used to have a best friend oh. in secondary school, and we liked each other from then, but we both suppressed oh right. okay we both suppressed it mm-hmm. and then um so yeah it was it was a friendship for 10 years so mm-hmm. I'm, i know her i knew her since i was 11 years old and then um she she unfortunately didn't grow up in the best environment um from caribbean background mm-hmm. and um we sort of went our separate ways at unis and things like that and then we came back together and she had then come out as gay 
And I was like, well, you kind of know, yeah, don't you? Because we've there's a particular conversation that we always said that we had in, in secondary school yeah. that we both was like, ah, I see my one here. Um, and then she came back from uni and I let her, as best friends, that's how we went around with best friends. Yeah. I let her move into my house. Oh. Um, yeah. Was that a um, U haul situation? What do you mean? Like, were you together then or not? You're friends no, still? We, okay, no, we're, we're still mean. friends. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. no one has been U haul lesbians. No, no, no. So it was definitely, so she had her own room, I had my own room. Oh, okay, okay. okay. And, um, and then the pandemic happened. Mm. Oh. And um, then we was like, oh, let's get together. <laughs> <laughs> The and pandemic then, relationships, boy. Yeah. And then we broke up like for, I, I want to say a month after, just before my birthday. Mm. And I, she fucked me up mentally. Like the things, the stories that I could tell you guys. But hold on a second. This is somebody that was your friend since you were 11. Yeah. And I guess could be you guys like having relations or since, since then mm. that's very common you know i hear this a lot but so it's not everything do you know what yeah i just feel do you feel that like, do you okay i like i believe in twin flames yeah would you say that you guys are twin flames when you say twin flames that no it's that's no longer the case like uh, mm. we because i know what a twin flame is and mm. it, it could have been that but she's broken yeah yeah mm. yeah because i feel like even if it's broken you still kind of have that like connection a little bit like it's not completely broken you might find each other whether it's romantic or friendly or whatever it is mm-hmm. you you always find each other again like maybe when you're a different stage of your life or something like that but it doesn't sound like you guys are going to find each other again y- you know what? it's crazy because she actually so we hadn't spoken and then i then got and then after the pandemic, I got into another relationship and I tried to integrate them too. Yeah. Uh, because I still lived t- with her. Oh, so you're trying to be together? All three of you? No, no, no. No, as oh, friends. Oh, friends. Right. Oh, as friends. No, no, no. Well, yeah, I, I said girl. I said a prude and you're like threesome always. <laughs> no, um, I tried to integrate them as friends and that should have never happened. Like, yeah. I even apologised to my ex the other day. I said, I'm so sorry for doing that. I, yeah, you should have I, that, yeah. yeah. I stuck my head in the clouds. I was like, ah and knowing them both separately that was never going to work i'm not yeah. sure they'd even be friends even if i wasn't yeah. a, do you know what i around. think your intentions were good because obviously it was a situation where you lived with the girl yeah. do you know what i mean and obviously that your girlfriend's going to be around her because she's going to be at yours so yeah. I, I guess your intentions were that's in the right what place. i was trying to do but who yeah, yeah it that sounds like do you know what it sounds like i thought it sounds like you're trying to make your girlfriend mm. like comfortable Mm-hmm. And I think you were trying to make them also come by being as transparent as you can. Yeah, but that's what I yeah. told you guys. I'm a people pleaser. I'm yeah. trying to please mm. everyone all at the same time. Mm. Are you okay? We spoke about this in the I'm like, as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the mum. I've always been the mum of the group. I'm like, are you, you guys good? You need a drink? You're good? That's because yeah. of how you grew up as well. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so yeah, moved, moved her in and I got the girlfriend and um, that just went terribly wrong. Um, and then we then got her out. And when you talk about Twin Flame, it's crazy because she must have come up to me at um, one of the raves last week. Yeah, last week. Yeah, because, yeah, oh, mad. Oh, mad. Oh, no, guys. You got tea? Guys, so I must have been at Pussy Palace, right? So I work for, if I'm not I DJing. I knew she went to that one. I knew, <laughs> I knew if I'm not DJing for Pussy Palace, mm. um, I manage to stage upstairs. I do artist liaison. Mm. So that day I was DJing. Um, gonna bait out which one it is because I've only DJed one this year. Um, the last one. Pillar and- <laughs> <laughs> Princess. <laughs> no, no, no. That I wasn't even on the lineup for that. I oh no, Pillar Princess one before yeah. this one. No, it is. The last no, one. No, it was. It was. Look, why, I was trying to get. Why, why am I trying trying to- <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was Gold Digger. Um, okay. Right. <laughs> and so I must have come with a new babes at the time. Wow. But the two people that I was seeing was also there, mm. and then this ex was there. And I was, at first I was like, <sighs> and then I was like, no, everyone knows what? Wagwan. Yes. I'm also not with her anymore, but all my friends have dreadlocks. So <laughs> <laughs> okay. Interesting. All my friends have dreadlocks. And so when I came out of backstage, I was like, hey, babes, or hey, bitches, mm-hmm. or something like that. And I put my arm around two people. <laughs> and I was like, this energy here is familiar. This scent here is familiar and it was my ex. CPR my ex. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> and then I was like, 
because it was a knee jerk reaction. I was like, oh my gosh, hi, how are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then from there, she then went into this whole dialogue on Instagram of how I, how our other friends made her feel. And like a lot of it was blaming me for the, the last interactions and all of that. And then came to another party at South Bank. Um, I should I wish you looked that. No, well. you should have come. You guys should have yeah, come to that one. That one, that it was, was good. Like, um, should have come to that? South Bank. Sorry. She came to South Bank. Was just like, oh, I just want to explain myself. Drunk. I want to explain myself. Like, I actually really uh, miss you guys. I miss you. I want to. Um, I come. Bear in mind, you've got a, a privilege to see when I'm on the lineup. You know when I'm going to yeah, be in the space. Yeah, it's my true, name's on the true. flyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, yeah, I I know. Um, I want to be friends. <laughs> I'm just chatting a little off and I was like, yeah, cool. We're going to have a mediated conversation. Um, that never works. <laughs> I, I, we never had it. And mm-hmm. then on Sunday, um, some girl came up to me in the smoking area. She was like, oh, you Tali darling? I was like, yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh, you're, you're such a sick DJ. Your sets are sick. I was like, oh, thank you. She's like, we have a mutual person in common. I was like, oh, who's that? She said the person's name. I was like, oh, okay. Who was it? It was, yeah, it was the ex. Why, why, why would she you? say that? Why is she coming up to you? This is what she said <laughs> after. She goes, oh, um, she spoke a lot about you. Oh my God. Get I out of my like, fucking face. Get out of my face. I was man. like, oh, okay. She goes, um, yeah. I said, what did she say? She goes, oh, she said you're obsessed with her and that. I was like, okay. Obsessed. Do you know what? This why did you happens. lie? Because this happened to me. Do you know what too? happens? Yeah. When you're visible... <laughs> And you're doing shit with your life, yep. mm-hmm. and you're doing well. Mm-hmm. People will spread lies yeah, about you, like, why and people would always you do want that? people to know about their proximity to a yes. person. It happens. You're all a the non-factor, time. babe. Like, what? There's people I've spoken to for like five years, <laughs> four, five years, yeah. <sighs> and when they know that, I, I know someone that they also know. Oh, I read her on chat because she's dis- <laughs> just <laughs> chatting the thing, brother. You are irrelevant. <laughs> I just, I, I'm not saying your ex is relevant to you because it seems like this is someone you cherished. Do you know what I'm saying? We had a good time. 10 years. Yeah. Like, yeah. And obviously I Papa. feel like there's still... But she was rude to my mum no. once. Oh, and absolutely so, fucking not. So not and it's, it's crazy because when I came out to my mum, my mum talks spoke about that day and she was like, the reason why I didn't pull up your friend then is because I thought she was going to out you in front of your fa- in, in front of the oh. family because my mum said she knew before. She knew already, yeah. Um, and yeah, but I was like, and then I think about, I'm I'm too forgiving. I give people too much grace. Mm-hmm. And I'm always like, oh yeah, but their childhood. Oh, but yeah, this and all these factors. Mm-hmm. And actually no, but you, I always say, if you if you weren't rude to my mom, I can forgive you. But you actually was rude to my mom. No. Yeah. So yeah, you can't forgive that no, one. Absolutely That just, not. That just yeah. puts the yeah. jam that on the toast. A, that yeah. deserves <laughs> a box in the yeah. face. I'm not going to lie to you. Nah. Absolutely Do you know what I too. think? Okay. I think when it comes to our community, yeah. And when it, obviously we we always bump into people that we dated before, people we've been in relationships before. Small community. Community. The community is small, and Disgusting. I feel like we can all agree to that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What we need to start doing is acting like the adults that we are. Mm-hmm. This is not school. This is not this is not primary school or secondary school. This mm-hmm. is not even college, guys. We're old. We're actually adults. Well, I don't yeah. know how old you are. <laughs> 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 don't don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, she had, she was like, had a drink. She, she was like, yeah, I need to butt in here. Um, what her hair from work? <laughs> you were busy drinking. <laughs> okay, how old I, are you? I am Grain. Yeah, how old are you? I am twenty two. Yeah, but we're not in college. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm twenty six. Okay, I'm twenty six. I'm sure she's not twenty two. Really. <laughs> Why are you lying, Natalia? <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah, but we're all adults. We're still adults. Saying? Like we're all adults. If as, if you, you are, pay rent, if you're out you on the scene, yeah, you must be eighteen and plus. If you're, I'm sorry, I can't be spaces that anyone who's below eighteen. Nah, that's not even eighteen. <laughs> even eighteen is still they're still yeah, an adult apparently. I, yeah, I don't like to be attractive. No, no, we don't. We not. don't do that. But I just feel that everyone needs to like use some sense sometimes. Yeah. Do you know what but I mean? I feel like common. I, it's not this. common. I understand that a lot of us have periods. Some of us don't have periods. Some of us, but we all have um, hormones that are moving up and down. Yeah. All of us have it. So I get mm-hmm. it. In our community, there's a lot happening We've emotionally. Got mental health. A lot of people have mental health. There's always but something. I know it's not an excuse to behave badly. No, it's I'm not. just really we have tired, tired of people sometimes. telling me they have ADHD. And <laughs> why I that is 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you know why? Because we've had so many conversations about people using like their neurodiversity like, I, just to like, as an excuse. I am very neurodiverse. I'm on the spectrum. Mm-hmm. Like 100% dyslexia, dyspraxia. Sometimes I do think I'm like, whoa. Mm-hmm. But also that is not why I said that to you. I was trying to be a bitch mm-hmm. when I said what I said. <laughs> yeah. I feel like sometimes some things are down to neurodiversity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that is facts. Yeah. But, but sometimes, sometimes some, some things are down to not. people being a dickhead. Mm-hmm. And that is also facts. Yeah. Anyone could be a dickhead. No and matter I think what there's a lot of self-diagnosis as well. There is a lot. Yeah, there is. So there is. much. There is quite a lot I've of got that. like aspects of like BPD and ADD and all of this. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, who told you this? Yeah. And oh, oh, you did the quiz. Okay, I get it. Mm-hmm. Do you know what? I think it's not fair because like one of my really, really good friends has got BPD and I've mm-hmm. also come across other people who have BPD. Like, clinically the doctor mm. has told them that i have bpd mm-hmm. real diagnosis and things like bpd is very sensitive so when people are going around with that diagnosis saying they've exactly. got bpd yeah it kind of bothers or, me a or, little or bit anything because i definitely think i have add but i'm not going around mm. saying i have add Mm-mm. because you have i haven't been diagnosed yeah, yeah. I, I just think it's unfair for the for people who are actually diagnosed and mm. trying to navigate this world mm. with whatever they have and you've got people just and those are people that normally plaster on social media. Mm-hmm. Those are the ones who haven't even got a diagnosis. They just think they have it. Mm-hmm. And Actually, I maybe you do. That. I understand. Like, there, there's so many ways that you can navigate um, uh, conditions like that. So you can choose to embrace it. You can choose to ignore it. Mm-hmm. And I choose to, the thing that I got, I choose to embrace it, but also not let it define me too yeah, much. Yeah, no, I hear that. Um, and it's not my personality trait. But that's the yeah. thing. People use it as their personality trait. That We've seen mm. it so much of it. And we just, but do you know, just I like... Just, do you know, I think when it comes to social media, you can monetize anything in it. Mm. So like, I just feel like sometimes making stuff for your brand makes you eligible for some sort of money to monetize things. <laughs> or, or, so, it, it might not even be like monetary. It might not, it might be like to, just sympathy. It might mm, be, do you know what I mean? Different things. Some people just want clout for different things. Yeah, it might be clout. Because my mum has had six brain operations and she used to be paralyzed from the mouth down. Mm. And So she's not anymore? No, she's not wow. anymore. Like if you meet my mum, you'd be like, Okay, right, like, like you went through that. Yeah. None the wiser. That is amazing. Um, and she's got like, two metal things in her brain that um and she's got wires Mm -hmm. and she was on she my mum's a avid active um social media user she loves instagram she loves that ai shit i hate it oh do you yeah it's it's, it's scary (laughs) i've never used it you can just because i like like looking up facts and stuff and like even i'm writing a feature so no i'm I'm talking about when she uses the filter thing oh absolutely oh no we don't like filters (laughs) no i thought this is what ai like (laughs) i was like user i love her okay no 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 no, we don't use filters Um, (laughs) but she's so she's all this has happened to her and she she posts on like social media when she's in hospital and things like that and some woman must have come that she met in hospital like years ago was like, oh, how come you get all of this stuff? Um, <laughs> not jealousy. <laughs> when, um, because she might have even had more brain operations mm. than my mum. And she was like, yeah, that's because just people like me, firstly. Yeah. And secondly, I'm I'm just sharing my story to, to like, educate people on it because it's these are rare conditions mm-hmm. as well. And it's just so interesting how people feel like you're using something for a certain you're saying mm. sympathy before mm. but actually it's not it's not always the case mm. and i feel like then when people are trying are genuine, to yeah genuinely them, trying yeah. to do something it's, it's shadowing mm. what yeah. they're trying to do Different but do you know what because there's so many people out there especially on social media that just want clout mm. they want a huge following and all of that stuff and you can you can see that but i think you can also see the genuine ones like i'm yeah just, you can see through certain mm-hmm. things yeah i can definitely see yeah the people who are genuine who are disingenuous mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> I tra- oh. <laughs> that wasn't to you if anyone has followed you on twitter they will know who i'm talking about and i'm, I'm never gonna give them extra clout i'm never gonna give them extra clout. this person had my number Instead, they went to tours social media to go and do ding, 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 ding. And say, never mind, continue. <laughs> <laughs> you scared when you looked at me because I was literally about to say... The camera's there. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. I was literally about to say when I... I'd hope to think that through my social media, people could see that I'm genuine. Mm-hmm. I feel like even when I post like a sexy picture, thirst trap, like best believe like next couple of pictures, it's just me and my wig cap. <laughs> <laughs> like something stupid mm. um, because I'm showing all sides of me, mm. but also it's unfortunate that might not be the case. I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't know how much more genuine you want me to be. Like, yeah. 
want to show you like my holy bra like <laughs> <I don't laughs> get thing, it. there's not a lot there's not a lot of genuine things on instagram do you know what i mean mm. and like even um the other day my friend was telling me that she's basically she's um let me not give too much information about her. <laughs> well, a friend of his telling me she was talking to someone, and um, the person was talking about like their their private area, <laughs> huh? the private area, and they were talking about like scars and stuff that they have from like shaving oh, and stuff right, like yeah, that they have yeah, down yeah. there. You yeah. are telling the story so slow. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> yeah. like, what's going on in the area here? I'm trying to say back to too much information. So the, I'm just trying to bait anyone out, you know what I'm saying? So um so yeah, so they had scars down there, whatever. Yeah. And then um she was like when she goes to Instagram, the girls all look clean down, not clean, but they all look like, smooth down there. Mm. Everything's one colour, there's no scars. Da, 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 da. So she feels like hers is just like abnormal. And then the, my friend was like, you know that people use filter and people use Facetune. She never knew. She never knew that yeah. people go on Instagram, edit their pictures. She's like, and edit their none. Everybody is editing their pictures. Like most people, most influencers are editing their pictures. Like don't think. It's just about the severity. Yeah. Of how far you're going. Yeah. You yeah, know? yeah. Like it just depends on how, like, listen, some of these girls have got raisin bumps too, you know, like you just smooth it out and want to look at Facetune <laughs> and that is it. That's all it is. But, <laughs> are you talking like a, like a, about a, a bikini, bikini pick or something. Yeah, because you must be. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, wait, is the whole fanny just on, the, on display? Like, what? Nah, nah, basically, she's going to get married, isn't it? She's about okay. to get married to her husband. And she's they've never had sex before because, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're Muslim, they're religious, okay. everything like that. They're practicing Muslims. So they haven't had sex before. And she's afraid to get married to him. And then he sees that she's... Oh, my God. I'm sure yeah. it'll be fine. Yeah. Um, you know, I was going to say, it's probably not for that. Um, scenario just because you said they were Muslim but I was going to mm. say that these um, preconceptions of body I think a lot of them come down to porn and how I know that for, that was for me was in porn you see like slim bodies everything mm. perky titties mm -hmm. you know um, shaved bikini or landing strip and all of that and mm. I think it it influences how we see our bodies and w what we think sh it should look like maybe not in that case because they yeah. might not be watching porn, yeah. but it's. I feel like they're reverts. I think they have a, they've had a life before. Oh, oh right. yeah, okay. I mean, okay. a, a non-Muslim life. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 So, so, so porn. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I think yeah, and it's 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 mad what the body and society mm -hmm. and all of that like have to play in someone's like self love and all of that. Yeah, crazy. I agree. Yeah, mm. I think. Um, even like we were talking about our nonnies the other time in like one of the episodes. Like, like, my pussy's too pretty. Yeah, I mean, your one was like, oh, it's so, it's so, it's that is too our close. Second, now, that, too... did you know that episode is our second most listened to one now? <laughs> I know it's just because I said my pussy's too pretty. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> was like, yeah, yeah. show me. <laughs> <laughs> Prove it, bitch. That's what everyone was saying. <laughs> and I was like, in, not even in that episode, in that other episode, I can't remember what it was, but I was talking about how I have an Alti. And oh, yeah. obviously that's not something that, is seen as like a beautiful vagina or whatever mm. and just like that like it, it comes from porn it comes mm. from you know yeah. all of that stuff so has like, anyone actually seen a landing strip in person i've never seen one i don't know anyone. <laughs> look like it's stupid <laughs> but why just have hair in the middle just well, going it's down. not protected nothing it don't look cute like it, looks, it just it looks doesn't like make a any you, you, a landing strip that's a rectangle <laughs> that's pr pretty much yeah pretty <laughs> much i like, have not seen any strip in yeah, person yeah i, I don't haven't do what else is there? I don't listen. Is that my head or there isn't? So, so <laughs> yeah, but what, 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 did you what did you tell your friend though? What well, did my friend tell her? No, what, she, yeah, she just told her, like, I'm sure basically, okay, I'm probably giving a bit too much information here now, but yeah, the per the basically, the husband to be has mm. only dated white women before, so this is his first time dating a black person. So she was like, he's only dated white women. So sure my shaving bumps and stuff like that. They're just a little give different. Him, I'm sure white women, yeah. women, white women have um, bumps as well. I've seen. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't seen a white vagina in person before. I've I, I always watch those those um, Ingram videos. They have it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm an expert. <laughs> they, they have it. Um, <laughs> they have it. But yeah, so cool. I've never seen a white vagina. I've never seen a non-black vagina in person. Am I allowed to call it a vagina? Because on TikTok, I've got... I've got oh, uh, vagina. yeah, you have to call it... What's it called again? Vulva. Yeah, vulva. You have to call it vulva. I've never so. seen um, a, a white, <laughs> non-black Are you laughing? This is TikTok. This is TikTok. They're going to correct They're you. They're all you, boy. <laughs> exactly. I've just talked something a lot too too much. To <laughs> oh, my Don't God. Don't worry. We've got to edit it down. Oh, okay, cool, 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 um, cool. Yeah, you've never seen a non-black I've never seen a non-black... 
Uh, do you know what? Would you only date black? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're only going to date black? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. I can't. We know that none of this doesn't date just... She dates everyone, that's weird. But... <laughs> wait a minute. She dates black, non-black. Do none of this discriminate. Do you know what? Like... <laughs> um, I... In terms of aesthetics, I can appreciate a white person. Um, I probably could even do bits. But in terms of like relationship, intimacy, love and all of that... We are just on two different levels in life, and I can't get. I can't, I'm but not trying you, to educate. And... Do you know what I'm starting to get? I'm opening my mind. These I, before I've always said I'm only going to date black. Mm. Now I think I could date. Uh, Do you know? So when you say date though, but what what intention are you dating with? I would date to marry. You would date to marry. I would date to marry. I'm open. I'm just and open. And so, what are you um, willing to? <laughs> <laughs> what are you willing to do in that relationship and what are you not willing to do? Because there is an education that... I'm not really willing to educate, though. Okay, right. but you're, it's going to be very hard for you it's to find be... someone that's already educated. Well, the thing is, I'm open. Do you know what I mean? I'm, 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 I'm not saying that's the only thing I'm doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm open, open, but if I have to educate, do you bye. know what? <laughs> yeah. I don't want to educate too much. Because even if I date someone who is black and they're not of Ghanaian heritage, mm. or so they're not of Ghanaian, I still degree. have to educate to some degree. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So there's yeah, but a there's, a cultural, there's a cultural um, um, likeness yeah. mm-hmm. that, and also it, it it won't feel like that. Yeah. No, it doesn't. It, it feels doesn't. like sharing yeah. more than educating. Exactly. It does. So, and I feel like, and there is there is this thing when you date another black person, there's just this weird like, um, what do you mean? Black love, black joy. Black love, black joy. <laughs> All of that. My love is black love. Hashtag. And I think... How can you not be a part of the hashtag? I'm actually a part of the hashtag. I did the campaign. She actually did. She did a bubble oh, campaign. I saw it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'm open. I just feel like as I'm getting older, yeah, mm-hmm. Um, I always, like, when I see these, like, older black queer people on social media, they always have non-black wives. But it was a different and time. I, no, but one of them, she's, like, you know, 40s and her <laughs> wife is below, below 30. Her wife was white. And she's like 29, 28. But it was, she was still from a different time. Her wife might not be, but she is. No, I get it. I get it. I get it from a different time. But I don't think the time is that different in terms of people being serious. How many, like, guys, I'm do not you, even being Do you know what it is? I, listen, I know I'm, I date, I do I date outside my race, um, mm. but it's it's nothing like dating a black woman. That there's nothing like dating I would a agree, black but woman. I would, there's a certain life that I want at some point. And if, like, if well, just dating people black... can't bring it to you. No, she, if she can't no, find it, I'm not taking it. I'm not anyone. I am trolling I'm you. Op- <laughs> I'm, the girl. <laughs> I'm open to finding it anywhere. Like, no, and, and I think women. I think it's good to be open because I'm open too. But I just think like in terms of like the the culture, like just that safe feeling safe. Mm-hmm. Like I you, I would I probably wouldn't feel safe with any other person than like a black woman. Mm. My safest. I, I, I do agree with that. I do agree. As a black but woman, I do think I do you agree. can find love. And however, listen, I need some kids. I need. I'm trying to, you know, be in a partnership of some sort. You know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. I don't know. At it, some it, point. Just, it actually doesn't even cross my mind. When I go into a space, I'm. That's but, not but this is the thing. We're always at. usually in like like spaces or I mean the likelihood of me finding spaces. someone who is non-black is quite slim I'll be honest with you I'm just, I'm just, you I'm are so African, African. I'm, like, I'm very it's, African it's, and I've never even seen a vulva that isn't a black <laughs> one um I have uh twice actually I, <laughs> I, twice. <laughs> so the, I, I think it's happened twice to me do you know what it was? It was that we had a comment because I think we had Mark Thompson on the podcast, and oh, yeah. and um, he was talking about black black love and how his mum would roll in a grave if he dated someone outside of his race. And there was a comment on YouTube, and it was oh, a white yeah. girl who has a black girlfriend, and she was very upset by what Mark said, and she said, "Oh, how can you guys laugh at that?" And da, 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 da. and it's just like, babe, like. You don't. You that's don't the familiarity of black people, you, though. You don't you know why you, that's funny. You, you know why exactly. Yeah. You, don't under, you don't understand <laughs> this. Like it's very, very. I like, don't want to bring you in on the joke. But this is the thing as well. Like I feel like just because white people never say that their preference is white, they don't <laughs> verbatim say my preference is white. Yeah. They don't get a stick for it, but because black yeah. people say my preference is black, we get a stick for yeah. it. It's the fucking same. When yeah. Love Island, bl- blonde hair and when blue, they say eyes, hair, blue eyes, dark hair. What is a dark feature, girl? <laughs> it's when not dark say, skin. It ain't dark skin. It ain't dark skin. <laughs> so don't come with that bullshit. Like if you want to date interracial, that's great. Like I'm for mm. it. I'm for whatever you're for. If you love I it, think I it love depend- it. I mm, think it depends on your reasonings in what terms of interracial love. Mm-hmm. Like, 
I won't accept like, oh, I like white girls because they're better. Yeah, like, but if you're putting someone, if you're putting a group down, mm. that for me, I feel like date yeah. who you want, just don't be putting anyone yeah, else yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I don't like. Yeah, I just it depends. Yeah, there's a there's a in in a mannerism that I don't. I'm like, oh, yeah. Also, with like, um, what's the word? Like types. Mm-hmm. I, personally, I don't understand them. You don't have yet. a type. She does have a type. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> no, 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 wait. Locks. Wait, Can I ask wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Do no, 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 no. you know you keep doing this? Oh, has everyone you dated been shorter than you? What the fuck did I come from? <laughs> what's wrong with you? <laughs> Sorry, don't answer that. <laughs> no, have, they, have they all been shown to you? They've been shown to you, Nick. No. <laughs> no you don't, don't, mini don't answer that. You don't think it's the mini stunts? <laughs> I feel overwhelmed right she's, now. she's overstimulated right Imagine now. Imagine what I mean. You don't think mini stunts? Okay. Um, no, my ex was like the same height as me. I'm 5'9". Mm-hmm. So they went a mini stud. Huh? Right now you see the mini stud. <laughs> Why are you going like that? <laughs> Okay, no, no I'm really stuck. Oh my god, <laughs> pressure! What I was gonna oh, say? Fuck. No, I'm not. Like, yeah, they. You know what? Yes, they have been shorter than me, <laughs> but they're also always smaller than me as well. I'm mm. always gonna be the bigger person. Mm. Um, what was I even saying? Exactly. You, you say, say what your t- you tell us what your attack was. Are you single? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta wrap this up, and you're, you're asking more questions. Right. I am single. Okay, so what's type? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is really um I I'm actually battling with my type at the moment because my track record, everyone could be cousins. They all look the same. They all look the same, locks. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> right. Exactly. Shut That's up. what I said. Um <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, I like Oh I've got really, really cockney there. I like um I do like locks, but that's not a defining factor. They just happen to look the same. Mm. How do they look? So that means you have a type? Uh, yeah, but I don't get why though, because I'm not trying to be problematic. So really how, how do they, do they look? look like? Yeah. Uh, black. <laughs> I do like a nose piercing. I like a gold tooth. <laughs> locks is not a way on. Locks is not a, a type, we but nose category. piercing is a type. <laughs> we fit in the category then. Yo, girl. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with you? No, I'm not going to lie. You both do. <laughs> but, um, whoa. <laughs> um, yeah, everyone sort of, I don't get it. They sort of attract, even like m- the men that I'm attracted to. They look dark locks. skin, locks. Mm. I love a guy with a nose piercing. Um, gold tooth. But my mum said to me when I was three years old. In, in, <laughs> Sorry, where's this going? In, um, we was in, not Marrakesh, uh, Tunisia. Mm-hmm. And this black guy with dreads walked through and I went, wow. Are you three? <laughs> and that's, yeah, that three was it. You have a type. <laughs> you have years a, old. That's a solid type right there. Yeah, but is it problematic? No. no. Why would it be problematic? I just feel, yeah, because if someone was like to me, oh, I only like white girls or I only like big girls, mm-hmm. I'd be like, hmm. Why is that? Mm. But I don't want it to be a fetish. I don't think for you I don't think it's a fetish. I wish I like, I knew what my type was. <laughs> I feel life would be so much easier if I had a type. Yeah. I don't have a type. I just... Uh, and I do like a mask baby. Of course. So basically, do you understand. know, you have a lot of options, you know? Yeah, but... So that's, why you, that's why you've been outside. So... Whoa. Yeah. Outside? You got a few... Um, I mean, you said, since, you said since lockdown, you had the babes in lockdown, and then you've had another babes since lockdown. You've been in two relationships since lockdown. Lockdown was the other day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. Oh, people think that, but no. Like. So those are the only two people you've dated since lockdown. Because hmm? <laughs> <laughs> since I think since lockdown, I can. How have you ever dated since lockdown? So what are we class as dating? Okay, okay. People. Um, something that you. I don't know you go on dates with or have a sexual relationship. Yeah, I mean, like, okay, not me, not just <laughs> multiple, date, multiple dates with, and you've also had sex with them. Yeah, this is for you. So, yeah, it's, I mean, like us, we've dated a few people. I've dated, you know, dated a few people. Well, not date. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, it's too hot in here. Yeah, never, never mind. I don't even want to get into that. I think I've dated three people. Three? No, I mean, okay, since I've been single, I've dated two people. I don't believe that. No, I've been dating. I've dated two people. So I've been single. Who was the other one? The Jamaican one. The Jamaican one. And then the Nigerian one. Hey! Oh my god! She's the link for the vest the other day. Oh! 
I mean, we wouldn't have three dates. Okay, I'm not yeah, going to say anything like, shady. Never mind. You don't include her. You don't include her. <laughs> I mean, I will include her. I'm going to include her as someone that I date. <laughs> I'm going to say... Um, okay, two we, we'll cut, we're going to cut this bit out. Um, <laughs> and, and you? And me? Um, date. <laughs> say date. Date, mate. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say I dated. Date, because I didn't date a lot of them. Um, no, I just lashed and dashed. Really? I wouldn't dash. You just use them to break her celibacy. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. To break her celibacy and go back um, to celibacy. <laughs> but I'm trying that after Miami, though. What, celibacy? Yeah. Where's Miami? Thursday. What's your reason for celibacy? Oh. I think the last person I dated, she kind of checked me a bit, and I take a little bit. I hear what she was saying, and I think out of my relationship... I jumped into the dating pool like really quickly yeah. and I had a lot of confidence in myself that I kind of lost in my relationship that I thought I still had mm. and then so navigating with other people um I was yeah I'm just not the same but and I kind of want to get back to that so mm. I think I need some time to just understand me again um yeah. and just recalibrate refocus I recommend it's so I, I it was so good that you know my celibacy my abstinence and how long does it last nine months okay oh yeah, you? it's a long time um... <laughs> 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 which I'm, I'm i'm back at now so it's been about how long since you've been back shut up <laughs> <laughs> that too much <laughs> no yeah. but yeah I'm, I'm gonna continue it because i don't know i just don't there's nothing i'm getting from just having not that I wanted anything, but like it just feels a bit empty. Yeah, I don't bit. like the whole. Um, I'm not getting what I want basically at the moment. Mm -hmm. And in an ideal world, I would love somebody just to love me, and I love them mm. back, and we can go and do our thing. But it's, it's not happening. I try to do the whole monogamous, um, non-monogamy, mm -hmm. non-monogamy, no, monogamy. Yeah. Non whatever. Yeah. They ain't bear people. Um, it's too much. And and this is how I'm here today. Mm -hmm. It was when you guys <laughs> situation <laughs> in, yeah. the, in the comments. It's just it's it's difficult because I want to be able to date other people, but there is a level of intimacy that I do want mm -hmm. and conversation. Um, but also when we're not together, go and do your thing. But intention and and i want to be made to feel special still yeah. it's not just a oh let's that do this sound, that sounds like a relationship um. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I, it's different from a relationship because when they go out they can do their thing yeah, yeah are, are, you, are, you are you monogamous am i monogamous oh, i'm getting confused that's what's that the what? one person yeah you just, if you're in a relationship with just one person Yes, yes yes because i okay so i've oh my gosh i'm really talking about things right now sometimes i like to be attached to um i like to be a third person mm -hmm. so i'll be dating someone that's in a relationship already so you're not gonna date both of them just one no of them. just one of them yeah. just because there's no commitment mm -hmm. i don't have to invest yeah. or anything mm -hmm. cry to that person mm -hmm. sort of thing that's pretty really flippantly but mm -hmm. um wouldn't that be your non-monogamous no I, that's what i'm saying i mm -hmm. am non-monogamous but in my relationship mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I couldn't, not yeah, my base. Yeah, so you, when you're in a relationship, you're monogamous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay, makes sense. I mean, but yeah. as dating right now, dating. Yeah. But if we're trying to, we're not opening it up. What do you yeah. mean? I'm enough. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hear that. Um, yeah, she's got different hairstyles. You can. Yeah, you know, who do you want? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so you. So you don't believe people could be like casual. Like casual, casual. Yeah, you can be, but I feel like. Nat it's weird like I know gender's a spectrum and all of that but I think there is something in women that it's it is very difficult um it's not it doesn't come naturally to us mm -hmm. unless you've had some mad trauma um mm -hmm. that sort of you're like fuck love fuck people mm -hmm. like lash and dash that's it mm -hmm. um I like yes you can you can train your mind to it but naturally it is difficult and sometimes like even with the whole monogamy thing I didn't non-monogamy I didn't think I could do it and then I sort of trained myself to put if I meet someone I'm automatically going to put my feelings into a box this is the analogy I use mm -hmm. put it on a shelf and far back we're not going to let it fall down so then this is how I sort of 
don't catch feelings mm-hmm. for them, if that makes I sense. I guess it's true. You have to kind of like <clears throat> shut a piece of yourself away. That's how I'm able to do it. Mm. Like, I, it, like I, you, act, you actively yeah, have to yeah, do yeah, that yeah. rather yeah, than yeah. it's yeah. already it's shut very, away. It's very conscious. Like, it's mm-hmm. very like, okay, these are the things I'm not going to do because I could get caught up in this with this person. Mm. Like, it's very, very intentional. That's why I'm not bothering to be casual. Can't, we said can't. we're dating to marry now. Yeah, we're dating to marry now. The yeah, casual thing is just like, if we're going to date, we're going to date to marry. Yeah, casual thing yeah. I'm not ready to date now, so. I think... I mean, I'm not always ready to date, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just, I kind of, like I've, I've kind of told you a little bit about my story. I've always been um, the provider. Mm-hmm. And I actually just want someone to take care of me just a little bit. I'm not mm-hmm. saying the roles reverse mm. or anything. I it just, should be more equal. It just should be more yeah, equal. Yeah, I just... I, I don't about mind. Today, you know. We're not having a bar pass thinking about that, actually. Because normally in my situations as well, I'm always the provider one. Mm. And since I've been not really dating, mm. but dating, um, one of them really showed me what it's like for someone else to kind of like... Mm. Take charge and ugh, I wouldn't say take charge actually, they take charge. But I would say <laughs> that they were playing a more equal role. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? And nobody ha- in a situation in a romantic situation has given to me as much as mm. she has given to me. And we weren't even in a relationship or nothing. And so and the thing is that feels nice. So when I'm in a relationship now, whenever I get to a relationship, listen, things have to be a lot more equal. Yeah, no, no I'm not my kink. <laughs> no, no, Hello. it's actually so like <laughs> My kink is to like open a door for a mask babe. And Isn't like, it? yeah, I love doing that shit. Or like, do you I open the w- door for me when we leave? <laughs> 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 or like, um, paying. Because I know mm. that, because in, in my head, I'm like, we're both women. So why shouldn't I mm-hmm. be able to, why shouldn't I do that? What, what says that you must do that? Um, and I just like seeing them being thrown off guard. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah, you like feel comfortable a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, it makes me feel comfortable. Just a little bit because as much as like we always say, oh, it used to be equal and stuff. We like to be gentlewomen. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, we yeah, like yeah. to be gentlewomen. Yeah. Like, but then then you tell me, oh, babe, don't do that. I'm like, okay, cool, but just know that I can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know? I, do you know what? It's I, nice though. It's nice. Do you yeah. know what? You, you get thrown. You get thrown off, yeah. but it's pleasant. It's a pleasant surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Like one time, the gun was gonna be thrown off, so she gave me her card because she doesn't. Hold that. <laughs> I was just like, I put it in my wallet to give it extra, and, like it's for me. But like, that was nice. I like yeah. that. I like that. Nah. It's nice to be treated. Um, but I get that. I support that, and I, I hope you get that. <laughs> yeah, I just want to. I don't mind doing it five times, but on the sixth time, you do it. Mm. I think you be free and free, but you know, <laughs> you be free and free. But free listen, and free. Free and free, like you, you did three times. They oh, did three times. Oh, you went okay. free, free. No, no, you did three times. I thought you meant a third person. I said, Where oh, are they coming no, from? No, no, no. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm just a monogamous baby. I thought I was non monogamous non-monogamous before, once upon a time. Like this time last year, if you asked me, I would have said, Yeah, I'm non monogamous. Mm. I'm monogamous. I'm a one woman, woman. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're one woman, woman. <laughs> That's me. But to other people, what's happening next? Oh, okay. Um, Ra, what is happening next? <laughs> Miami. Yes. <laughs> Miami, then New York. Are you, you got sweet heat? Huh? You got sweet heat? Yeah. I'm done. Yeah. Are you playing? No, nah, no. Nah, is that your nah. first sweet heat? Yeah. I've been before. <laughs> I've been to sweet heat before. Yeah, you're going to have a good time. Oh, I want to come now. Oh, what's the thing? Uh, um, it's 16th. I ain't going, I ain't going but... It's 16th to the 22nd, but I'm going on the 18th. It's in June? No, May. Oh, oh you can next week? Yeah. So Sweet. I'm going for the 16th to the 22nd, then I'm going to be in New York for a week. Okay, be that's a good little... Okay. Yeah, I, I, I did a, I've did. worked a lot this past couple of months and I didn't see anything because the invoices taking time. Freelancer, Boy. bitch, man. And then they all dropped at the same time. I was like, oh, oh I'm going to Sweet Heat. Oh, she rich me. Yeah, yeah, I got myself. Seven. Now I'm going with my, my friend. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sweet Heat. You're going to have a great I time. I understand why you're not going to be celebrating until after. I get it. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> this is an American girl. Wait, what are you talking about? American girl. Listen, Listen when they hear your accent, that's Listen, it. I was telling the other guy, like, I turn into Oliver Twist. I'm like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when I, let me tell you something. When I went to Sweet Heat, yeah, it was the first day we had to go and pick up our, like, our wristbands or yeah. whatever. And some stuff came up to me and was like, yo, like, you know where they pick up? Like, you know where they're at? And I was like, and I, don't, I don't understand what they were saying. No, no, I answered them back. I said, oh, this is whatever. It's on Collins Avenue. Everything's on yeah, Collins Avenue. Collins, Collins Avenue. Avenue. I was like, on Collins Avenue, yeah. And she was like, what? This London? Is on Collins Avenue. She's like, I can't say that again. I was like, it's on Collins Avenue. And she was like, you, you gotta say that one more time. And I was like, 
Lindsay Avenue. <laughs> no, and she was like, I was like, do you not understand what I'm saying? And she was like, no, I get it, but I want you to say it again and again. Like, you sound good. And I was like, oh, no, not be getting gas. And the thing is, yeah, that's just in London, if a stud like was flirting with me, you think I was, I'd be looking at them stud. like, Oof. That one, we're gonna say I was getting hot. <laughs> I'm gonna hot. I'm telling you, I turn into Little Bridgerton, Downton Abbey. Listen. I'm like, yeah, so, um, yeah, we live in England, London, yeah. England. Yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. Mm. They love it. Tally Hose. They love it. I was even ordering food at one place, and some girl was like, hold on. It's me. Hello. <laughs> no, hello. <laughs> hello there. <laughs> She's like, you are cute. It's me. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Literally, I'm from the hood, actually. They don't really know me. I'm like, no, actually, from the ghetto, the end. Yeah, but, but that think... don't work. When you go in, because I went to, I had cane rolls then. So when I, I went into Miami, into the hood by myself to get cane rolls here from, from Spanish people, they don't speak no English. That English accent don't get you nowhere out there. <laughs> so... <laughs> it don't get you nowhere, but I'm, you're going to have a good time this week. No, definitely, definitely looking forward to it just to chill. Mm. Just uh, when I go to America, I'm always going for like connections and networks. I'm trying to move out there, mm. um, and but it's it's difficult visa and all of that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, just DJ more like Pride's coming up, so books and busy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I love um, that. It's so funny and, that Pride yeah. is our books and busy book. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> um. So yeah, that is that, and yeah, just gonna be relaunching the podcast. Um. In Probably about three weeks. Do you know what? I don't think you should call it relaunching the podcast. I think a lot of people do that. They start a podcast mm. and they have a little break and they come back and say they're relaunching it, but it gives it too much pressure. When you say you're okay. It. Just release when you want to release. Bring it back. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I literally just like BRB. Like, it's not even yeah. bringing it back. You're just dropping it when you're dropping it. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel like with podcasting and content creating in, in general, there's just too much pressure for it to be like consistent. And also it was at such the beginning stage. Like nobody's mm. after an episode. <laughs> like, I'm no, people have been like, oh, so when you're dropping it, but it's not, it's not. It's a, new. Yeah, it's new. It's not that like, I don't think I'm gonna lose following, lose listeners, mm. and things but, like but that. But also, I think yeah, it's just a pre- there's too much pressure to actually mm. drop content like consistently. And we have lives, we have things going on, we have yeah. relationships, we have mental health issues. Please, <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I'm gonna wait for a week, I'm gonna wait for a week right. or whatever. Yeah, you know. And I think it's important to recognize that because listen, when the more people like listen to your content and especially podcasting, yeah, the um the entitlements. Yeah, and have. the thing it's not even of people like to release episodes of you. The people have entitlement in general. Yeah, they expect you to be the person that they perceive you to be, and they don't expect you to just be yourself. Mm. So I feel like, listen, this podcast is gonna come when I give it to you. Yeah. That's just a boundary for mm-hmm. me. That's just a boundary kind of thing because I'm doing it because I like to do Didn't this. Someone um comment on it uh, was it TikTok? They said um, you're at a party when you when yeah you haven't recorded a podcast yeah. episode. So Mister Just was like you you're partying you haven't there's no episode. <laughs> Like, we should have worked. I'm not gonna lie, that's something that I would say to you. Like, but it was funny. Funny. But yeah, it was we hilarious. Were, it was funny. We were cracking we can, up. We but... can appreciate that. Yeah. <coughs> we were cracking up. What but... I don't like is when people, again, I'm ranting from this tweet again. <laughs> don't we don't like. have time for this, you know? I know, I know. We're definitely going over time, yeah. <laughs> what I don't like, yeah, is when people, again, you say something, you're just, I'm just being myself on social media, and oh, I listen to a podcast and I'm disappointed. No, fuck you because stop listening. You, you you are not gonna you are not gonna have me in this prison in, in in prison in, in chains. Yeah. Right? I'm just not gonna be the person that you want me to be in your brain. I'm always God. gonna be me. I'm mm. so sorry. Like and and I don't like it when they use your content to weaponize against mm. you to say that if you don't be this person I want you to be, that I'm gonna stop listening to your podcast. Stop listening. I don't need fake listens. I don't need fake love. Stop listening. Then take me as I am. So listen. Drop your episode when you want to drop it. Period. Yeah. Purr. Purr. Yeah. <laughs> Her, but yeah, I think we have that now. So, what you didn't say what your um uh, podcast is called for the people then to listen. Uh, the podcast is called the Red Line and Podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, for the first time, Ravers the Bad Boy Selectors. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, listen, listen to it. it. Guys. We're gonna we're gonna link it. We're gonna yeah. link it anyway. So make sure you click on the ads. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're gonna we're gonna link it. But yeah, <laughs> we're gonna link it. Thanks for coming. Thank you. So Thank much. you for having me. Yeah, such a short notice. Right. That's such a short notice. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, excited. Make sure you uh, like, comment, and subscribe on uh, YouTube. YouTube. Oh, especially the camera. Make sure you like, comment, <laughs> subscribe on YouTube. Make sure you rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. And uh, make sure you hashtag Twitter's podcast on Twitter and Instagram. Until next week. Peace. Peace.